talk about uh, um, some sort of connectivity, but we want to touch base on the moving of uh, energy from uh, Central Asian countries uh, into the region. And of course, uh, Afghanistan will be the one who will be benefited out of it. Would you please uh, talk a little bit about the regional projects such as Ener CASA 1000 TAPI pipeline and the TAP high voltage transmission line? Yes, absolutely. And um, this this links very, very well with your question to uh, to uh, uh, Mr. Jafferly that uh, if lapis lazuli becomes operational, it, it has the potential to uh, reduce transport costs and uh, duration to, to the region. But that is a big if if it becomes uh, becomes a viable route. Um, with regards to these mega projects, um, these are uh, the kind of regional uh, big projects that uh, connect more than one country, right? So TAPI, let's say, uh, connects Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, and Pakistan, and India. TAP is the one that connects Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. So it, it's a project that brings energy from these energy-rich countries in Central Asia through Afghanistan to energy deficient countries in South Asia, like India, Pakistan, and the rest of South Asia, uh, like Bangladesh and the rest. They, uh, the, the demand for energy is very high in these regions. And these projects are, um, so these projects are very good uh, in, in theory. They're like, uh, they're like BRI or CPEC. These are multi, uh, or, or let's call them mega projects, okay? And these mega projects have uh, huge potentials, conditional if they become uh, feasible, if they actually happen. Take TAPI, for example, it has been going on, I think discussions about TAPI and it should happen and it should become operational has been going on for almost, for over 40 years. Mm -hmm. I think it started mm -hmm. at the time of Dole Khan and then uh, Taliban signed an agreement when they were in power and then uh, the current decade in the last 20 years we have had talks of TAPI and uh, interestingly we had uh, uh, we, we launched the same project two three times but uh, but I I believe or I'm very critical of, uh, of of feasibility of these mega projects for a number of reasons these mega projects are very tec technically very complex and they are very, very dependent on multi-actors. Uh, multi so let's say this TAPI, uh, TAP project from, from, uh, Tajik, from Turkmenistan goes to Afghanistan and then goes to Pakistan. Turkmenistan needs to attract investment, needs to build the entire infrastructure, bring energy or the gas, which is it's, it's a gas pipeline, needs to bring the gas to the border of Afghanistan. Let's say they bring it to to, to, uh, to Turgundi, right? If, I, if I'm not mistaken, um, and then Afghanistan will have to attract investments from the private sector. Obviously, the government doesn't have the the, the type of resources to invest in the, in that project. So to attract all sorts of investments and then ensure that this the infrastructure for this project crosses through Afghanistan and reaches the border of Pakistan. This requires a lot of technical uh, technical work, a lot of resources that is currently, I think, beyond the reach of any single country. And the security issues and challenges in Afghanistan doesn't permit and hasn't permitted this project become a reality. But in theory, it's a best project. It's a very good project. It will have a lot of positive externalities if it happens. But uh, being a little bit pragmatic about it and thinking, uh, mm, thinking about policies that will yield something for the people of Afghanistan and create job opportunities and, inc and increase their living standards and do something for them, I think we may need to revisit our approach to these multilateral projects. Uh, take all of these uh, from 2TAP to CASA 1000 to, to, to TAPI to TAP. Which of these projects have happened? and what percentage of them have happened over the past 20 years. Uh, the two sub-regions remain very, very disconnected. 
I mean, in theory, they are all very good. But in reality, if we look at what has happened, I think that asks us that we should revise our approach and how we're going to do this. And uh, the alternative I suggested earlier on is to think regional, but maybe start bilateral. Yes, uh, uh, you talked uh, on the regional. Uh, we would like to know maybe our audience may be also interested in 